Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, Gemini, we are going to go ahead and get started. I had a couple of cards fly out. So we got the Knight of Cups crossed by the Three of Swords. Underneath that is the Seven of Cups. What I get so far is putting your love in all the wrong places. I feel like you're trying to keep your options open. I feel like, uh, you know, they're, you know, I feel like either your heart or the a person that you're dealing with, their heart is broken. Um, and I feel like in the past, there was something here about, you know, your cup runneth over, you know, happily ever after. But, you know, I feel like the challenge being the three of swords, I feel like you need to get over past heartache, um, you know. And I do want to say that what's on your mind is the, the, the four of wands, you know. So for some of you Geminis, you definitely could be moving um, or you could be definitely de dealing with somebody who lives um, away from you. Spirit, please show me. Okay, yeah, the person that you're dealing with, uh, there's something here about, yeah, perseverance, charity, the star, okay, hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true, five of cups, and one last card for the Gemini, okay, Geminis, you got as the outgoing card, the king of swords, also you got the magician as the overall energy, so I just feel like, you know, you're you're wanting your happily ever after, you're manifesting, I do feel like for some of you, you could very well find out you're pregnant, so congratulations Gemini. Um, you also, I do want to say that there's something here about, you know, the past ending and being able to move forward with a brand new beginning. Um, you know, the nine of wands is also about perseverance and also somebody who is like just blocking themselves from you. Okay. So nine of wands is the high, uh, high priest, the six of swords and the two of swords. Um, you know, it's talking about contracts ending and moving on and persevering and not maybe not knowing what to do here in the future. Seven of cups is the lovers, the nine of pentacles and the five of pentacles. So this could have to do with the relationship and you deciding that I want to go ahead and be single. I want to, you know, I have this choice of love, but I actually am thinking that I just kind of want to be single at this time. So I do feel like you've left somebody out in the cold. Uh, three of Swords has the Five of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so the Three of Swords is, you know, breaking it off with somebody, cutting it off with somebody, and, you know, somebody here just walking away from conflict. Maybe there's some words spoken, but maybe it's because someone here was acting smug, and I feel like someone here offered someone something, and the other person was like, mm, not good enough, not what I want, <clears throat> not time. I don't, I'm not really wanting to give to this relationship even though it's something that made you very very happy i feel like this person with the ace of cups yeah wow okay with the ace of cups in the past it's you know the ace of cups is the 11 11 it's your cup runneth over it's happiness it's bliss you know and i feel like look at this this is like the perfect relationship but it's like you turned your back on it and you cut it out Okay, so I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, also bringing clarity into the situation with this relationship. The Four of Wands is all about, you know, happiness and celebration and uh, King of, yeah, but I feel like you're not, you're holding back. I feel like you're holding back from wanting these types of things. You know, you're working on your coins right now, your stability, your emotional stability. And I feel like someone here is trying to extend you a love offer, but I just feel like you're kind of holding back on it. Um, you know, with the Six of Pentacles, you know, Six of Pentacles is all about reciprocity, give and take. Funny enough, you actually have your Empress. So you've got the Eight of Cups, which is someone walking away because there's nothing here. You know, if, if there's no give and take in this relationship, someone's bound to walk away because they're walking towards their Two of Cups. You know, someone here, whoever walked away is, is realizing that they're realizing their own worth, you know, and they're not willing to accept anything that is not that. So with the star energy, you've got the high priestess, the fool, and the ten of wands. Wow. 
a star in the high priestess, I feel like there is, um, you know, I feel like you're you're very psychic or this other person or maybe even this other person is going to see a psychic with the star and the high priestess because that's very very spiritual energy or the two of you guys are using telepathy uh to speak with one another i do feel like someone here if they are seeking a psychic uh you know this uh i do feel like someone here is ready to take a leap of faith away from this relationship and put the burden down for the time being okay because I'm really looking at, you know, the star is all about vulnerability and hopes, wishes, and dreams. It's about faith. And, you know, and then you've got the high priestess here, which rules the moon, you know, the moon and the stars, you know. So we're doing a lot of manifestation, you know, and wanting to manifest a new beginning for ourselves. So putting down whatever burden that this has caused in order for us to be able to pick up the new, you know, the our new life you know and here's the funny part you've got the magician at the bottom of the deck so the magician says that you have all the tools to manifest your heart's desire gemini but you just have to be willing to move forward on it yeah the five of cups in the hopes and fears you know someone here is crying over spilt milk and i feel like you know somebody needs to extend an olive branch but I feel like someone here is like, I can do it all on my own. I've got it. You know, I don't need anybody's help. I've got it. Uh, and it's making someone else feel very, very sad. And I feel like <clears throat> this relationship may have gone cold. It went from very loving and kind to very cold and cutting. Uh, the King of Swords, funny enough. <laughs> wow. The King of Swords, get this, is clarified. Okay. King of Swords by his mate, the Queen of Swords, the World card, and the Four of Pentacles. So someone here, maybe one of you, one or the both of you, your mate could live at a distance. And I feel like someone here is just needing to end this cycle. I feel like you need to have a conversation. The both of you uh, need to have a conversation about where you guys go from here because someone here isn't able to let go. Listen, Gemini, you are the magician here. Okay, that's Mercury. And Gemini and Virgos are both ruled by Mercury. So what I want to say here is Mercury is in retrograde. I feel like someone else isn't holding on and you basically have the tools to manifest your heart's desire. <clears throat> and you have the key. Okay, you have the key to whatever you want this to be. So it really just depends on you. If you want it to be a higher level of commitment, then you have the tools necessary to make that happen. If you want to be single and leave someone out in the cold, you also have the the tools to make that happen. So really at this time, I feel like, you know, it's depending on, you know, whether or not the Gemini really wants to open up and share uh, what they've got going on. Um, and if they're willing to share with other people, uh, I do feel like there are some people here who want to give to this relationship, but I feel like, you know, you got to quit acting like children. Okay. Or maybe children are involved. Spirit, please show me for the Gemini for the week of the 12th through the 18th. 12th through the 18th, Spirit, please show me Gemini. Uh, like I did say earlier too, some of you could find out you were pregnant, but also getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Um, but you got to take the time out to get to know each other. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And one more card. Maybe there's someone here that you were trying to get to know and you got heart to heart conversations and pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Uh, you know, there is someone here. It's like you're trying to free yourself, maybe someone that you were trying to get to know. And it's like they're trying to talk and you just stop listening or you're trying to talk to them and they just stop listening. And so I just feel like, you know, this could be a very hurtful situation because if you look at it, it's like she's a beekeeper, right? You know, bees hurt. So we have to like cover ourselves up. And maybe that's what the red flags are is like you're constantly, you know, running away from your circumstances instead of actually taking a risk and taking a chance. Maybe there is someone here that, you know, if you could take the time to actually really get to know this person, they could be the best person of their of your life. But it all just depends on whether or not you're willing to open yourself up to make that happen. Spirit, please show me for Gemini. Okay, you got give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Wonderful. That's a good message, Gemini. You can have it. You just have to get out of your own damn way and listen.
Spirit, please show me Gemini. Okay, Gemini uh, manifesting miracles. Funny enough, look at this. You got that as your overall energy. The magician, he's manifesting over here. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to flow or follow its guidance. Okay, so trusting your heart. Uh, you know, don't be trusting over here this painful, uh, you know, and, and making heartache for yourself. You know, don't be trusting in that. Trust in what you're really feeling. And last card out, friendship. Excuse me, <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Uh, I'm a Virgo and I'm ruled by Mercury too. So friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So learning how to embrace the friendship if you want to move forward or finding someone that you can be friends with. Anyway, Gemini, I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, also, don't forget to watch for your sun, your moon, and your rising signs. Uh, take care. Have a beautiful weekend. Don't forget to watch for the divine masculine and feminine journey as well. And I guess we'll talk again next week. Bye.